Hey, we're in Studio B. Joe Green here, live Studio B sessions on WNCW. <clears throat> Pardon me, are made possible by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Proud to welcome to our Studio B today, Abby Bryant and the Echoes. What's our first song? This is Not Your Little Girl. Hey, Joe. Hey, I want to say hey to you. Yeah, <laughs> hey to y'all. Sorry. I was anxious to hear the first song. Sorry. Yeah, here we go. Let's let's get on WNCW, Abby Bryant, and the Echoes here in Studio B. Title song from this uh, debut album. I couldn't believe it was a debut album. You guys uh, sound like you've been playing it for 20 years or more. I mean, you know? Uh, but I was hoping you'd lead off with that song. It kind of sets the tone for the album, doesn't it? Absolutely. Thank Not you, Joe. your little girl. 
Yes, it does. Um, we have been singing this for a while. It um, it all uh, started a, a few years ago. We were traveling pretty regularly as a band around 2018. Um, and, you know, there was a, quite a delay. <laughs> as you know, with COVID, um, recording an album was a little bit more complicated and difficult. So, yeah, it, you know, there was it did take longer than we had hoped, but we had a uh, more time to put in the album, and and yes, we have been playing that song for a while. For a while, <laughs> yeah. that, that album been, had been a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I said I meant mu <clears throat> play, excuse me, play music in general for that long, but you, you really have though, I'm sure. I mean, at least close to that, because you've been playing uh, together for a long time, you and Bailey, right? Yeah, we uh we got started just kind of casually playing music around high school. Bailey, you want to chime in on that? Yeah, well, we're, <laughs> we're actually in the same chorus program in high school. Um, so we knew uh, each other a little bit through there. Um, didn't really think that we'd ever be doing performing music other than choral stuff uh, until college. We also went to college together. Kind of started a college band there, just playing around the restaurants and bars in Boone up at App State. But yeah, it's kind of uh, after we graduated and kind of time up in Boone, we decided to come to Asheville. And that's where all this has really started to pick up. Yeah, I was going to say, you're in Asheville now. You were in Charlotte for a little while, right? Was yes, right? for a um, little, maybe about a year and a half. Um, I was there for a little while for an internship, and so uh, the band just sort of followed me as I finished uh, my degree and everything. That's that's kind of when we were really uh, giving it our all from that point. That was right as we would first graduated, around 2017. Music scene in Charlotte, tougher to get into than in Asheville, you think? Or Seems different. Um, different <laughs> yeah just quite just different um a lot of um a lot of different genres compared to Asheville I think there's a little bit more of like a rock and a heavier scene would you say that like more mm. kind of a more kind of punk vibes and um yeah a lot of uh, a lot of bars to play in but uh maybe you know the stylistically people in Asheville and their their preferences are different. I notice things are a lot more like jam band, Grateful Dead, <laughs> kind of yeah. in this region. And Charlotte was different in and that And just way. more of a concentration of music, too, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of why we moved up here more than anything. All of you living in Asheville? Mm -hmm. More or less. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, why don't you introduce these other folks with you today? Yes, absolutely. So I've, as you guys, some of you guys know, I've got uh, Bailey Faulkner. Uh, on the guitar over here. He's a founding member of the band with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got Anthony Dorian on the bass. Hello. We've got Brian killing it over here on the keys. Hello. And we've got Ben Falcon on the drums. Brian doesn't have a last name, by the way. <laughs> oh, sorry, Brian <laughs> Solovell, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was one of those one I forgot heroes. it for a second. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you all here. Uh, First name again, please. Anthony. Anthony, thank you. You know, old man, you just have to be patient with me. Uh, you co-produced on the album? Yep, uh, we spent a lot of time on it. Uh, I also have run a recording studio in Asheville for about 10 years. Yeah. And uh, so we were able to kind of buckle down during the pandemic. We were in the same isolation group, and I didn't want to bring any strangers in. And so uh, it gave us a lot of time to really go over everything and, you know, dot all the I's and get all our t's crossed and <laughs> the way we wanted to well the uh, the time that well was spent whether you wanted to or not on the album certainly paid off and in, in our in my opinion and I, and I think the other host here would share that opinion uh with me as well i love the flavors i grew up in the 70s so you know every song you know just kind of speaks to me and while you all have your own sound and you have your own sound as a singer uh, a lot of the flavors in the music uh, kind of take us back, some of us older folks, to that era. Was that by design, or is it just your influences? Or I think uh, both. Um, you know, we were kind of going for a little bit more of an old-school aesthetic with it, but it's also the music that we all grew up really listening yeah, to. Yeah, and you'll, you'll hear kind of a fusion of my roots in gospel um, with Bailey's uh, in more in rock and roll. We sort of marry those together in our songwriting in a really specific way well all right <laughs> yeah i can kind of hear that 